What's going on guys, welcome back to another video, and I'm going to be showing how to make the interior for your Jack in the Box. Now this interior isn't actually like super big or anything, it didn't take that long, I want to say originally it took 25 minutes, or 20 minutes is what I was roughly coming up with. Um, here it is in all of its uh, glory, if you want to call it glory or whatever I guess. Um, you'll notice in the kitchen uh, that we did have a little bit of an oopsie, which you'll see in a moment here. Uh, but yeah, overall, I'm uh, I'm happy with this. So you see the uh, iron trap door got screwed over with, which, um, yeah, that happened. But uh, yeah, that's really all I have to say. So that being said, enjoy the tutorial, and I will catch you on the flip side. Alrighty, so the space you're going to need for this is, well, you don't need any space. All you need is your jack-in-the-box from the other day. Or, uh, debatably different time, depending on how you are as a person, which, not as a person, but as a builder in Minecraft, I don't know. But you do, shut up, but the materials you will be needing for this are, to start off, spruce wood planks. I hate this set of materials, I hate it with a passion, because there's so many and I can't remember them all. Brick block. Terracotta, we'll just go with all the terracottas. Cyan terracotta, you don't need every single one, you only need those two, I think. Birch door, spruce door, so two doors. Light gray concrete. White concrete. And we'll go smooth coarse blocks. I would advise giving yourself some night vision, which I have done easily. You also need black glass, so get rid of literally any of your materials really quick, it doesn't matter which one. And just in this corner, this front left hand corner where you have the two windows, just make sure there's a little row of black glass in there. That's just gonna make it so it looks a little bit more whole. But the first thing you want to do is break your entire grass floor and replace it with spruce wood planks. This is the boring part. That's pretty much all. I'm gonna do the door part now because I hate doing the door part. The doors are dumb. Doors are overrated. Who needs doors? Am I right? You just walk through the wall. <laughs> don't don't actually try that. That's not probably gonna not end well. I mean, there's a chance it ends well if you're like I don't know, if you have superpowers or something. But my bet would be you don't, and yeah, that's gonna be how that goes. Um. As we break this grass, so it's, it's actually it's not that bad. This building looks like larger than I actually ended up. I don't want to say using because I pretty much used all of the space, but it seems larger on the outside than it does on the inside, especially once we get everything in. Because I used the space very very generously. Dang, that was almost mean. That was savage. But I mean, he, he wasn't wrong. Okay. I gotta ask what I was doing literally the second I started recording this. And then the response was something you are not. That's savage. That is just absolutely savage. But I mean, he isn't wrong. I feel like I should start appearing offline again when I record. Because I seem to always get disrupted. There's about a 90% chance that I, I get disrupted at this point in time. Anyways, hopefully everyone is having a good day or night. I kind of sort of am for the most-ish part. Um, get out of here, grass. I thought the row was going to end, but no, it ran into the wall. Um, I haven't really done much productive today. So that that is interesting, I guess. Did I do something productive? I did something productive. Not much, but something. That's always nice. Um, this shouldn't be too bad of an interior to make. Um, it took me about 25-ish minutes beforehand when I did it, so. Unless I did my math wrong. Uh, which is a good chance of that. But that's not bad. Even if it was 35, that's still not bad. Uh, I don't think I did my math wrong, though. One of the things where I shouldn't have done it wrong. But with me, you never know. I 
feel like typically in math, the things I shouldn't get, I get, and the things that I should get, I don't get, because I do a, make a stupid mistake. <laughs> I've noticed that th is, th tends to be a trend with me and my math stuff. Something going slightly as it should not. Alrighty, that was not half bad, was it? Um, there you go. There's all of your stuffies done. Stuffies? Alrighty. Um, what you're gonna want to do now is... I don't actually have an image of this, I don't think. Do I? Wait, it might be the last one. That does show it. What you're gonna want to do is you want to take your brick blocks and your terracotta that are around the glass area, the black glass block area, and you want to ex extend them each out by two. So that it'll be the right side going right to and the front side going back to. That's how that should work, hopefully, ideally. And I'll give you this. You do also want to place an additional row of terracotta moving up, just because. And then, I didn't actually realize that like red concrete strip was there. I'm not even going to lie, but it doesn't matter, because you'll see. Come to the back right-hand corner of your build. We're going to start from this corner, because this is the way I decided to take the notes. Don't ask why. From this back right-hand corner on this spruce wood blank, you want to count forward by nine. And going left, place 12 smooth quartz blocks. Then a cyan terracotta. Bring it back one and forward one. Take that forward one and bring it left one. Then left with a spruce door. Whoopsies. Two cyan terracotta. That first one on that row wants to be brought right. Or all the way back. Sorry, not right. I was getting my things confused. Birch door. Six cyan terracotta. And then you want to extend that sixth one back to the back wall. Then continue from that front block and go left with five more cyan terracotta. A birch door. Two cyan terracotta and then connect back and right. So you should create this. If that was dumb expl ex explanationing, um... <laughs> You'll have, you're essentially, we're essentially coating the left, or that terracotta wall there. Also, you do want to bring this brick and terracotta section back with an additional, I thought it was only two, but it is three. I thought it was brought back by an additional one, but the images look like it wasn't. Oh no, it definitely is. I'm just dumb. Okay, I don't know how I like I'm blind. Anyways, what you want to do is you want to bring each cyan terracotta up with three, four, sorry, like right concrete. And then also you can bring your doors up with three light gray concrete each. And then that'll give you rooms. That'll essentially give you the layout of your build that we're going to be rocking with for the rest of this. Uh, apparently I've got a sneeze. This is not going to happen like typical. Yep, apparently. Cool. I don't know why that's how that works. I guess when I have time to think about it and be like, oh, I got a sneeze. To the point where I say it, it doesn't actually end up happening whenever I say it. So I should just never say it and see what happens. Because no one will ever know. But it's kind of funny when I say it, nothing actually happens because it's anticlimactic. But I, mean, I feel like if you're getting a sneeze, it's just going to like happen. I don't know. Ah, oh, sorry, I'm tired apparently. So yeah, you should have this now. Cool. I guess. Come to the uh, right side, so over the smooth quartz blocks, and you have three rows of light gray concrete. You want to take the top two rows of the three, so this little section of six total, and you want to extend each light gray concrete all the way to the right until it touches the white concrete wall, which is going to give you something like this, which I'll show you in like three seconds here. One, two, three, there we go. <laughs> Just like that. Um, you can make it three, you can chop down this lowest, lowest, the lowest row, row, goodness gracious, but, uh, I would not necessarily advise doing so, although it's up to you. Uh, can we do anything else with our current set of materials? Yes, we can. Take out your smooth quartz blocks and come to the kitchen, because I just want to get these out of my life, and I'd never want to see them again, that's a lie, I'm going to definitely use them again. Uh, where's the kitchen? Here it is. To the left of the... Drive through window by the white concrete, going on the cyan terracotta to the left of it, the first one, this one. You want to bring it back with two smooth quartz blocks. 
Now are we done? No, we're not. So come to the other drive through window, ironically, the like a concrete one. And you actually want to just come to the back left hand corner of this room. And you want to break a doorway and make sure that you do break the floor and replace it with a spruce or plank and place a spruce door in said doorway. So that'll give you that. Wait, can you like do this now? You cannot. Okay, you can't do that anymore. Because you used to be able like you could change which side the handle was on. I was just wondering if you could, but you cannot. So yeah, that's your current set of materials done for. What you can do now is clear your inventory and get out. One momento. Smooth quartz slabs. Uh, glowstone, seed lanterns, redstone lamps, shroom lights, whatever the new things that they just added were. I forget what they're called, the frog things. Things that you can do with the, do with the frogs, I want to say, or the other lights. I don't know, they're lights, that's all I know. Any light block, essentially. You could even use, like, campfires if you wanted that would work, or beacons, um, but that's a little bit out there, dark oak signs, glowing sack, ah, uh, click the stupid thing, white dye, I always have that trouble with this inventory in specific, uh, anything else we can't, we should have done, so, whatever, um, oakwood blanks, composter, click it, for god's sake, Oak trap door. Goodness gracious. Why is this inventory so bad? Um, and we'll go stone brick stairs. I apologize. It's just, it's been one of those, like, you know, it's kind of just been that. I don't know. Been that way. So let's start with the composters. Let's just do those. Shush. I didn't ask. In the, so you have two bathrooms. In the front left hand corner of the left one, you want to place a compost with an oak trap door on top. In the front right hand corner of the right one, you want to do the same. The reason they're in opposite corners is because this middle area is going to be where the stalls are. Come into the kitchen real quick and just behind the counter on, we'll say the far left block, right up against the cyan terracotta with the light gray concrete above. There's a cyan terracotta on either side, that's where I specified that. You want to place a compost with an oak trap door on top. You could do it on the other side, but it's a little bit more cramped over there. Um... Well, we're in here along this little row of two smooth quartz blocks that stick out, and one of them. It doesn't actually matter which one. You just want to place a stone brick stair facing old right, technically. And on this front counter, you can place two or three smooth quartz... Or st stone brick stairs facing backwards, wherever you want. I think I did three off either side before. Yeah, three off either side, so they'll be four blocks apart. But, I mean, you could do two off either side and then have, like, something like that going. That's kind of worse. I don't particularly enjoy that, but it's up to you. I like two, though. Now what you can do is above either birch door, you want to place a dark oak sign. One of them wants to say men, and one of them wants to say women. You don't actually have to label these. Uh, I just always do because it's nice. I mean, you could theoretically have labelless bathrooms. That's a possibility, but... I guess it is kind of nice to have them split because, uh... Yeah. I'm going to, like, not say anything because... <laughs> Never mind. All right. Um, pretend like nothing ever happened. Come to the front left-hand corner of this main room in the terracotta little divot here. This is not a divot. This is a corner. Right angle, we'll say that. And from this corner, what you want to do is you want to place two upside down smooth quartz slabs moving backward. Glowstone. Two upside down smooth quartz slabs and a glowstone. You'll notice that isn't actually centered. It looks like uh, the Big Dipper, Little Dipper. I don't know where that came from either. But uh, it's going to be centered in the light gray concrete. Now, if you want to change it so it's centered on the terracotta and the white concrete, you can do that. Because I think... No, it won't work out that way. I lied. Uh, but if you want to have it centered on any of them, feel free. Wait, would it? Because if I were to... Hold up. If I were to have it one, and then it'd be slab... Sla yeah, it would not center. Then you want to place two rows of ups and downs, smooth quartz slabs moving right, and copy the pattern. And then you want to essentially keep doing this with your two rows of ups and downs, slabs and copying your pattern. And making sure that where there's a point where it should continue with either a glowstone or an ups and downs, smooth quartz slab, you do that. So at the front when it extends. <clears throat> the back stays consistent, it does not change at all, so that kind of is unfortunate. And I'll tell you the other two light patterns in a moment here. I just kind of want to get this done. Thank you, Minecraft Ambiance, that was really helpful. Really gave me the answer. But, uh, yeah. 
Anything interesting? No, I'm probably going to be streaming in Nightmare a lot, though, over the next couple of weeks, because I want to... I made the mistake with Inner Friend, which I don't necessarily think it mattered, but I did make the mistake with VR Help Wanted, where I started to play the game, and I took too long in between episodes, and then the game was dead dead by the time I hit a point where I was like, okay, I'm done now. Which, in Inner Friend, I actually had finished it, and uh, VR Help Wanted, I did not. FNAF, that is. Just for clarification. And then Little Nightmares 2, I didn't make that mistake. I mean, Little Nightmares 2 didn't necessarily do amazing in general, but, um, yeah. I kind of want to go more like that, where I just upload all the time on it. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's really all, we'll see what happens. Oh, that is an entire row of slabs. I kind of just, like, stoned out. Um, in the kitchen, what you want to do is from the back left-hand corner, you want to place, hold up. Just a row of upstone smooth quartz slabs along that back and the left walls, and then place a glowstone in that back, in that new back left corner, I guess, quote-unquote. And then from there, you just want to copy the pattern essentially all the way around this little room. You should know how the pattern goes. I'm not going to explain it again because it's just boring and I don't like explaining it. A little bit of laziness. But I mean, like, that's that's the thing that, again, I always have to remember. Like, not everyone that's watching this knows what these things are. So I have to be a little bit more explanationative. That's not a word. Um, but I, I have to explain it a little bit more thoroughly. Just because not everyone has seen it before, but it's not generally a hard pattern. I think that goes more so with letters, me having to explain it more. Because, like, even if you know my letters, it's not necessarily easy. But I've made them so many times, I can make almost all of them off the top of my head, assuming they're just generic. And I can also decide if I want to make a small change on any of them. Which is something important. Now, from the bathroom, you want to move down the right or the left wall, doesn't matter which one you want to place. Two ups and on smooth court slabs. Glowstone. Two ups and on smooth quartz slabs, glowstone. Two ups and on smooth quartz slabs, glowstone, and two ups and on smooth quartz slabs. And you want to do this pattern in both bathrooms because <clears throat> they're exactly the same. I don't know why my like voice was just like, okay, I'm done today. I mean, I don't necessarily blame it, but. Mm. Sometimes my voice just decides to just quit, like, randomly, and it's, like, really just dumb. So I'm like, hey, I need you. It tends to do it a lot, like, I don't know. Certain times it tends to do it. And that time seems to be when I record a good amount of the time, although it doesn't completely die then. And, like, sometimes it'll get, like, a higher pitch. I don't know, it's weird. I don't know why I'm talking about this. It's not relevant to any situation that is happening currently. So... Yeah. So I want to start with the bathrooms for uh, two reasons. One of them being uh, it'll screw the bathrooms will screw with um, kitchen, which <laughs> yeah, you probably saw that in the uh, intro part, and I also probably pointed it out again. I don't know. I don't record that until later. But what you want to do is clear your inventory and get out stone slabs, birch doors. Stone, smooth quartz blocks, smooth quartz stairs, birch trap doors, levers, and cauldrons. Anything else we want to get out because we do have other things that we can actually do in the kitchen with the set of materials, which I guess the room will do next. Uh, yeah, get out gray concrete, I guess, just for fun. Um, so what you want to do is you want to come into either bathroom, and they're exactly the same, they're just mirrored. So I'm going to go into the left bathroom first, which for me is the men's bathroom. They're the same, but again, they're mirrored. So, you want to come to the front, we'll say right-hand corner. It's whichever side is longer. There's more before the door, there's more, like, wall available. From this corner, you want to count to the fourth cyan terracotta at the front wall, and you want to bring this cyan terracotta back with an upside down stone slab. Then a birch door, three upside down stone slabs, birch door, three upside down stone slabs, birch door, and an upside down stone slab. Take your two rows of three and split them straight down the middle, moving right, I guess, again, from in this bathroom. So towards the... You, you can figure it out. F uh, place, an, uh, place a stone block on top of each upside down stone slab, and then place a stone slab on top of each stone block and birch door. 
That is, I guess, important. Just like that. Now, in each individual stall, what you're going to want to do is place a smooth quartz block in the back center. Quote unquote back center. It's a wall. It's against the wall. This wall. It's essentially if you open the door and look straight ahead, that's going to be the back wall. Then bring that towards you with an opposite on smooth quartz stair. Bring that stair up with the birch trap door. Bring that trap door towards the wall with a smooth quartz block, and then bring that block left with a lever. And you want to do this in all three stalls, and you want to make all three of these stalls in both bathrooms. But before I go to the other one, do the same thing. So like that. It's pretty simple. Turn around, and two blocks away from the compost, you want to place a cauldron. One block at cauldron, one block at cauldron, and place a lever above each powered on. You could fit a fourth if you want to, but I don't think there's a need for it, because you're not going to need more than three sinks for three stalls. Unless one goes out of order, then that's a problem, because I've seen that happen. That happened in my school. One of the sinks is out of order, and they covered it with a plastic bag. <laughs> uh, fig figure I'd just throw that out there. Uh, did I place a lever somewhere in there? Okay, I didn't think so. Just want to make sure. And then you want to come into the other bathroom, which is a long distance between the two doors. And you want to do the same thing except mirrored, so... Fourth block away from that wall, which is this one. What is... Whatever. Back with an upside down slab. Stair. Three upside down slab. Whoopsies. Stair, or bur door, sorry, not stair. Three upside down slabs. Door, upside down slab. Split the two rows of three down the middle and connect them left. Place a block on top of each upside down slab. Place a normal slab on top of each door or stair or block. Sorry, I don't know why I keep saying stair. Where's stair coming from? And then in each stall, place a smooth quartz block in that quote unquote back center. Bring it towards you with an upside down smooth quartz stair. Up with a birch trap door. Back with a smooth quartz block and then left with a lever. And again, do that in all three stalls. Pretty self explanatory, if you'd ask me, but I don't know. I've made too many of these at this point to uh, confirm or deny that. And then along the other wall, you can just place, again, two block out from the compost or three cauldrons, each one block away from each other with a lever above them powered on. That's the, one of these three levers, I think, screws with the, um. Whatever it's called, the uh, oven. Or the stovetop, I guess, is what it technically is. Does even Jack, does Dragon Box even have ovens? Because they're a fast food restaurant. They got microwaves, probably, but I don't know. You can then come out of your other bathroom, and those are your bathrooms done. So you can cross those off your list of things to do. Which, I had, apparently, we have one now. Uh, come inside your kitchen, and come to the right wall. And you want to... Hold up, I swear I have an image of this somewhere. Not that way, that's for sure. There it is. Leave a one block gap from the front and place a gray concrete, cauldron, gray concrete, two smooth quartz blocks. Bring the cauldron up with a lever powered on and bring each smooth quartz block up by one and then place a set of double, bo double birch doors on the left side of that, which is really the only side that you can place a double set of doors on without it just doing something weird. Now. What you want to do is, along the back wall here, actually, what you can do is where you have these four white concrete, four cyan terracotta with the white concrete above them to the left of the smooth quartz block, just place four gray concrete, just like a little counter. You can have, could be cabinets under here, could be whatever. And then come to the left wall, and what you're going to want to do here is leave a two block out from the back, so make sure that, that door block does not be included, so that'll make it three, so one, two, three, I guess. Is it more than that? No. Place a gray concrete, two cauldrons, and then what you can do is leave a two block gap and place a gray concrete. Now, clear inventory and get out. Smokers or whatever furnace you want to use. Iron trap door. Now, actually, I'll just, whatever. I'll just leave it for now. Water bucket or bottle, whichever you prefer to use. Orange and yellow dye. You actually need gray concrete again, I'm dumb. Tripwire hooks. And smooth stone blocks. 
In each cauldron, you want to place water and left click once with orange dye and once with yellow dye, and then it'll give you this kind of off tint, which is what you want. The In the two block gap, place a smoker in each one, whoopsies, with an iron trapdoor on top of each. Now, if you end up having the problem where the trapdoor just automatically opens, switch it to either oak or jungle trapdoors. I think oak is best because oak looks exactly the same, which is not iron. Um, so, yeah. That is your what? Oh, why do I have... Hold up, math time. Why do I have 66 buckets in my inventory and 15 bottles and this trident that I haven't used and another smoker? Cool. Uh, what you want to do now is along this right wall, outside of the kitchen, by the way. We're not in the kitchen anymore. Figured I'd throw that out there because that's kind of important. You want to going from the front right-hand corner and going back, you want to just place seven gray concrete. Bring each one up with a tripwire hook, and then bring each tripwire hook up with a smooth stone block. Just like that. Now you can clear your inventory once again. I'm actually going to get rid of the stair. I don't know why I have it. And get out. Ah, uh, we missed a freaking two composters. We missed both in here. Get out your composters and oak trap doors again. Oakwood planks. Red nether brick stairs, nether brick fence, and white carpet. What you're going to want to do here is uh, at the little, like, um, diagonal where it goes from white concrete to light gray concrete, moving outward from that diagonal, so actually essentially going um, parallel to the white concrete wall. You want to place oak plank, composter, oak wood plank, place an oak trap door on top of the composter. And then you can come to the back left-hand corner of this room and place moving back to front. Oakwood plank, composter, oakwood plank. Place an oak trap door on top of that composter as well. And there you go. If you don't understand that, or just, I mean, you can kind of look first off. But if you don't, then you can place them wherever you want, I guess. But we should probably place the seats first, and you don't actually need the oakwood planks. It's just, I kind of like doing that because it looks like the little, like, not shelves, I don't want to say. Like, the little, like, thing that they sit in. Like, the trash cans at fast food restaurants, at least from what I've seen, are, like, have the, like, big thing around them but I mean that could just like be whatever also I've seen a trash can where it has like a divider thing at the top of it like it's a case but it's only actually one trash can like it's a divider so you like put paper and plastic in one or paper and one plastic in the other or something like that and it didn't even have a separate trash bag for either one it was kind of funny uh so what you want to do is come to the light gray concrete section it doesn't really matter where you're well you want to come to either the right or the left side I'm going to come to the left side and you want to be at that cyan terracotta directly to the side of a window. Bring that cyan terracotta out with two net red nether brick stairs. For my purpose, we're saying facing right. Bring each stair right with two nether brick fence. Red nether brick stair facing left. Red nether brick stair facing right. Two nether brick fence. Red nether brick stair facing left. Red nether brick stair facing right. Two nether brick fence. Red nether brick stair facing left, red nether brick stair facing right, two nether brick fence, and then red nether brick stair facing right, just like that. Bring each nether brick fence up with a white carpet. And then one more area we want seats, it's gonna be in between the two bathroom doors. Now there isn't actually a center here, so let me see what I did. I did it one block away from the closer one. Now I'd actually actually do I would actually do it two off of that one instead. So leave a two block gap, then place red nether brick stair facing right, two nether brick fence, red nether brick stair facing left, red nether brick stair facing right, two nether brick fence, and red nether brick stair facing right. Because this one's already crowded with the uh, trash can here, so I don't want to crowd it too much. Copy that thing, that pattern moving forward by itself by one. And then place a white carpet on top of each nether brick fence again. So yeah, that was about 30 minutes. And uh, yeah, once you're done that, ladies and gentlemen, that is your jack-in-the-box interior complete. I'm pretty sure that's everything according to my quick check. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you have any suggestions for anything, feel free to leave, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'm going to try to start doing more of the uh, less whatever stuff that I don't know. I'm gonna start trying, start trying to do more like interesting things, if you will. I don't wanna say no, not, I don't mean interesting, like movie type stuff or like video games or shows. 
I want to start doing more of that kind of stuff because I haven't done any of those in a while. Last one I did would have been FNAF, Pizzeria Simulator. That sounds right. Either that or it might have been, I don't know, something like that. But yeah, have a fantastic dinner and I will see you on the next one. Peace.